right, so if fuel prices go up, that is what people do in France. But in India, we decide that we'll have to pay up anyway. Let's shift our attention to what is happening in the case of Nissan, where the Nissan board members have voted unanimously to sack Connors Gone as the chairman of the company. Now, the development comes as a spectacular fall from grace for Carlos, whose arrest for financial misconduct has stunned the car industry and also the business world. Now, Carlos Ghosn stands accused of underreporting his income by millions and millions of dollars and also a host of other financial irregularities alleged after a month-long internal Nissan probe following a whistleblower alert. So the once revered boss of the Japanese car giant has now been confined to the Tokyo Detention Center with very limited contact, which is about 30 minutes of daily exercise and strictly regulated meal times. And on your screens are in fact pictures from Tokyo Detention Center. The many rules and restrictions make for a stark contrast with Gon's comfortable globe-trotting lifestyle. Now, Gon is most probably being held in a small 52 square foot room with a toilet at one end and the prison cell has a 50 foot, 52 square foot room with a toilet at the end. Taking a shower is allowed only on selected days and not every day for detainees. Now, there are no room heaters provided nor is there any television or a radio set. Now, there is no access to laptops or cell phones either and belts, neckties, long-legged underwear is prohibited as to prevent prisoners from in fact committing suicide. Meanwhile, Nissan has said that its alliance with the French sister company Renault remains unchanged after the removal of Carlos Ghosn as its chairman. Remember, it was Ghosn who in fact created the tie between the Japanese and the French manufacturers. It was widely seen as the glue holding together the fractu fractious alliance.